in case eggs aren't filthy enough for you to fish this stuff makes great mop flies as well check it out fly fish food mop flies okay here's your disclaimer if this is going to hurt your feelings turn off your computer actually take your computer and just throw it through the window because this is going to make it to your screen we're going to tie a mop fly out of slush jelly so we're going to show you how to do it size 12 hook four mil bead we're just going to throw some thread behind that bead to kind of lock it in place that's about all the thread we're going to dress in this um, now this is a really cool material that's somewhat roundish uh, kind of unruly but it's it's I mean if you look at it you could tie a mop out of this material it goes super translucent when it gets wet the only thing is it will unravel so what I'm gonna do is if you see the fibers kind of they, they angle toward one direction so I'm gonna find the end of that I'm not gonna do it on this side because that's their they're angling back this way um, this is where I have trimmed the the piece of chenille or what do you call it fritz and I'm just gonna kind of find the core you can barely see the core right there it's right above the hook shank so what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to singe that so it'll just kind of look like that when it's singed it's not gonna affect the movement of the fly or anything so I'm gonna take I don't know about that much a mop size body worth of material and I'll trim the material and I'll find the core of that chenille and I'll take my uh, thread all the way up by the bead and just tie that down with several wraps so from here I'm gonna just come in with some super glue and kind of glue that in place that's going to be a pretty durable little fly and to to finish up the head I'm just using some ice dub and shrimp pink that you've seen us use in so many other fly patterns and we're just going to clean up that head okay so some of the mop flies that we see have way too much material behind the bead uh, we're just going to make a tight little dub ball of of whatever material you want and just whip finish it right off now this can be tied in many other colors one of my other favorite colors to do this with would, is called blue cheese so it's kind of like a cream color so tie the blue cheese one with a black bead and some black dubbing and you'll be in business.